Okay, so we're almost there, guys. Um, what we're going to do in this video is the blog. Okay, we're going to do the blog and the contact page. All right, um, so what I want to do is add another SCSS file uh, in the layouts folder called blog. And that's where we'll put our blog stuff. Okay, so let's open up the blog HTML page as well. Okay, we'll close up these for now. All right, so if we go down to our posts, we have a div with the class of blog post and then a div with the class of post meta. All right, so let's start with the blog post. Okay, so blog post, um, I want to add a border to the top, the right, and the left. All right, so let's go ahead and include add border. So we're going to have one pixel of light gray on, let me just see, I think it's left, right. Um, not variables, mix-ins. Okay, add border. Um, position is right left. All right. So right left, and then I also want to do one for the top. Okay, and then padding will be fifteen pixels. This doesn't look like it's reading. Blog post. Huh. Blog post. Oh, we didn't include. <laughs> we need to include our, our blog file in our main. SCSS file. So down here, blog. All right. There we go. So the image, uh, the blog image, let's see, image class. Okay, the class has uh, blog featured, so let's do that. Um, let me set the width to 100%. Is that, I'm not sure if that's what I want. No. I actually want it to float. Let's float to the left and then give it a margin right of 15 pixels. All right, so for the size, uh, if we look at the HTML, we gave it a class of image SM for image small. So what I want to do is uh, create some image size classes. And I'm going to do that in my normalize file. Okay, so we'll do IMG SM. We'll have a width of 200 pixels. And you can create some other ones. Okay, I like to do XSM for 100 pixels and image 
large we'll do 400 image extra large we'll say I don't know 700 all right so there we go so now I want to do the post meta which is this down here so I'm going to go back to my blog SCSS and do post meta and give it a background of a light gray color padding do 10 on the top 10, 5, and 10. And then we want it to add a border. Of one pixel. Um, gray. And then a margin bottom. of 20 pixels all right so let's see what that looks like all right so that looks good uh, I don't like how this heading is pushed down so what it's page header is what's controlling that um, so let me just inside a blog post we'll say h2 page header um, was it a padding or margin margin top let's say margin top five pixels and we should put an important tag all right there we go so that looks really good uh, but I do want to add some padding to the bottom here and also we need a read more link so in the HTML let's go ahead and add a link so in the post meta and I want this link to float to the right so I'm going to add a class Pull right, which is a bootstrap class. And let's just add it to all the posts. Alright, and then just let's add a little padding to the bottom in the post meta. So top right, bottom. All right, so that's good. So over here, um, I want the tab to have uh, a class of tab light to give it that light blue color. All right, so back in modules components, I'm going to copy this, and we just want to change this to light. Change all instances of primary to light. and there we go we might as well do that for the other colors as well This one will be dark. Okay, so next we have this featured video. 
All right, so we're gonna, um, let me see if I gave it a class. It obviously has the primary head class. Okay, both of these do. But I wanna make uh, a class called block video that's gonna contain the video inside of the block. And let me just check and see if I added it already. Okay, so tabs. Right here. So we have block primary head with no padding. And actually all we need to do is, is grab the iframe and give it a width. So what do I want to do that? I want to do that in blocks. So inside of this block class, let's do iframe width 100%. All right, that didn't work. Actually, I'll just change the size of the video. Yeah, okay, so right here, this iframe, let's change it to 200, 208. All right, and then the height, we'll say 175. Maybe a little higher, 200. Make it, basically make it even. <clears throat> All right, so that's good. Recent comments, uh, we want these images to be contained. I think this has a class of list comments. Yeah, UL list comments. So we'll do this in the typography under this lists. So list comments, image. I'm gonna do a width of 100 pixels. For the list items, we'll do a padding. And we want to add a uh, border bottom. the last one to have a border though so we'll use the pseudo class last child okay let's check it out and it looks like our UL is getting some padding our margin so we need to just zero that out There we go. All right, so that looks good. Uh, down here we have these icons that we need to fix like we did with the other pages. So we just wanna change it to FA6 and also add FA border. Alright, so that's it for the blog page. Okay, so last thing we need to do is the contact page. Alright, we already have, actually we already did it. Yeah, we already did it, but we need to um, change these icons. So, contact.
there you go. Alright, so that looks good. We just want to, um, in blog and contact, we want to change the active link. Okay, so in contact, we want to take uh, class active off of the home page and put it on the contact. All right, and then on the blog page, put it on to the blog link. Okay, blog, contact, good. All right, so it looks pretty good. So what I want to do next is just, um, it is responsive, Bootstrap is responsive at its core. Uh, but there's just some minor changes that we'll need to do to make it look good on a mobile device. So we'll do that in the last video.